I'm going to explain how to hold a drumstick and how to play some basic strokes. This is aimed, I guess, mostly at beginners, people who are just starting out. You need to learn how to hold a drumstick because if you're playing your instrument with a stick, you need to get really, really good at knowing how to hold it properly. Um, and even if you've been playing drums for a while, I find a lot of people have come uh, for lessons with me. They've been playing even for years and they don't know how to hold their sticks properly. And they're causing themselves damage uh, physically or just you know limiting what they can do with their instrument. They're limiting the speed they can reach and also the, the level of touch and dynamics uh, because they don't know how to hold their stick and how to play a stroke properly. I'm gonna try and explain that here. Uh, and it takes some time really to get the, the hang of. So if this doesn't make sense, uh, it'll come. Uh, so I'm gonna go through it slowly, slowly. Uh, the first thing is I'm gonna hold onto my stick with my thumb and index finger like this, okay? Index finger, that's the one you pick your nose with. I'm holding the stick there. Uh, you can hold it on the joint closest to the end of the finger, or you could hold it on the joint of the, the index finger closer to your hand. If you're just starting out, I think it's probably easier to get used to holding it uh, against the joint, uh, the little crease here, closer to your hand. So I recommend that, but if you feel comfortable holding it uh, in the little crease there, the joint that's closer to the end of your finger, uh, try that as well, whichever you like. So I'm holding it, thumb and index finger like so. Next, and you notice that my index finger is kind of relaxed and straight. I'm not wrapping my index finger around, okay? But I am going to wrap the other three fingers around the stick like so. So very, very loosely, you can see that I can move the stick up and down like a seesaw, and at the back here, the stick's coming away from my hand. That's an important thing. All right, so I've got my thumb and index finger holding the stick like this. I'm not gripping tightly, I'm holding it quite loosely. And uh, again, gen generally in the drumming world, this is known as a grip, but the word grip suggests something uh, very tight. But actually, I'm holding the stick loosely. If you came here, you could remove the stick from my hand without any effort, without any struggle. Okay, next, the three fingers are wrapped around the stick, but really my middle finger is the finger that's really carrying the weight of the stick. That's where the pivot of the seesaw is. Okay, and my, my ring finger, my pinky, are just loosely hanging there, accepting the, the weight of the stick. So that's my, my pivot. Now you'll see I'm holding the stick about a third of the way up, my thumb and index finger resting around a third of the way up. And that's a kind of nice balance point which will allow the stick to bounce as much as it wants to, okay? Um, again, these are sort of starting points. You might find in, in different situations you move the position that you hold the stick, but for now we're gonna start with this. This is maximum bounce. And uh, in my view, again, not everybody agrees with everybody about everything, but um, we want to get the hang of bouncing the stick as the, the primary interaction that we have with the drumstick. Just to go over that once more, I'm going to hold the stick with my thumb and index finger about a third of the way up. I'm going to wrap the other three fingers around the stick very, very loosely, but maybe just a little bit more with my middle finger, because my middle finger is going to be like the pivot of the seesaw, okay? And then I'm going to keep everything relaxed so that the stick can pivot, right? Now the whole object of this is to allow the stick to bounce. So when I hit my pad or when I hit a drum or cymbal, the stick bounces, okay? And what I'm trying to learn to do now is to throw the stick down at the pad and let my hand follow the stick as it bounces back up. And this is the really important part of, uh, sort of the first part of the process of getting used to holding a drumstick and, and striking a drum like this, um, which is let the stick bounce. Don't pull the stick back up, but let your hand follow the stick. And it takes some time, you've got to practice this and really pay attention to what you're doing so that your hand learns to follow the stick back up. And when you first start learning how to do this, you might find that you're throwing the stick down and kind of interrupting the bounce and then pulling it back up again. So you're throwing it down and then pulling it up. Now, I don't know if you can see, but when I throw it down and pull it up, it looks very different to when I'm bouncing, yeah? Now I'm bouncing, you can see that the movement of the stick is very fluid. 
And when I throw it down and pull it back up again, there's a difference in the way it moves. Yeah, so I'm, I'm now pulling the stick back up and now I'm bouncing it. Maybe it looks the same too. But when you spend some time watching yourself practice this stuff, it'll start to make sense. You get a feeling for the bounce of the stick. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with my left hand. In my case, the left hand is the non-dominant hand or weaker hand. Uh, and it takes a little bit longer to get the hang of these things with our weaker hand. So if you're left-handed, uh, it'll be easier for you with the left hand. If you're right-handed, it'll be a little bit easier with the right hand, most likely. But just to go over it one more time, uh, thumb and index finger, and you can see it's the thumb print opposite the index finger, and um, I've chosen to hold it in the, the joint that's closest to my hand, yeah, this little crease here, thumb and index finger. Then I wrap the other three fingers around the stick very, very loosely, and again, if I wobble the stick up and down, you can see it comes away from the back of my hand, it's kind of seesawing, and the pivot of the seesaw is really my middle finger, okay? The middle finger is the key here to letting the stick pivot. Okay, and then I'm just going to bounce the stick. Uh, maybe you can't see my left hand quite as clearly because of the fake hi-hat thing. But you can see I'm just letting the stick bounce, okay? Now, once you feel comfortable, practice with each hand for a little bit. And it's not something you're, you're not necessarily going to get this to work the first time you try it. And you can start just playing some eighth notes. So you're playing eight strokes with each hand, okay? You can count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and, and four and one and two and three and four and... And really spend some time doing this. Learn to watch your hands. Think about how the weight of the stick feels in your hand. Try and keep nice and relaxed. And four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two. And that's basically how to hold your drumsticks.